Hi everyone, welcome back to Poppin' Podcast. Our special guest this week is Mia Winchell. Hi guys! So Mia, before we get into the questions, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. So basically, I'm Mia, and I see in a world full of color. What does that mean, Mia? When I say I see in a world full of color, I mean it literally. You see, most people don't know that their name has a specific color to it. Most people also don't know that sounds as simple as ringing a phone or chewing gum also give off a specific color. Now that is just fascinating. What do you call your special gift? Synesthesia. Wow. Now that we know some more about you, let's jump into some questions. While reading the book, I knew that you found your cat, Mango, in an unusual place. However, I didn't quite catch where you found it. Oh, Mango? I found it by my grandfather's grave. He was kind of prowling around his grave, and I took that as a sign that my grandfather was reincarnated in Mango. Interesting. Where did you come up with such a unique name like Mango? Perhaps his yellowish-orange eyes? Actually, no. That's what most people thought before they knew about my synesthesia. I named Mango, Mango, because of his wheeze. Excuse me? Whenever Mango wheezes, mango-colored spots appear all around him. I see. When you referred to the time before your friends and family knew about your synesthesia, why didn't you tell them? I can see why you would ask this question. Although you might not understand this, I was scared of being labeled as a freak. But Mia, why would you think that everyone would label you as a freak? I thought this ever since third grade. When I had been asked to write a math problem, I had explained that I couldn't because of all the different colors of the alphabet. My class looked at me puzzled while others hissed the word freak. Ever since that day, the fear of that label has scared me. I'm very sorry to hear that, Mia. How did others react when you told them about your gift? Great question. My parents actually thought I was lying to make an excuse for my bad grades. My best friend was angry that I hadn't told her and even ignored me at school. But, surprisingly, my siblings supported me and made me feel loved. Aw, that is heartwarming. On another note, I couldn't help but wonder what it felt like to lose your colors for a while. Well, as you know, I lost my colors since I was grieving over Mango's death. I was informed that it is normal for people like me to temporarily lose our colors in a time of hardship. But to answer your question, I felt ordinary and I wasn't sure if I liked that. Nice. On the other hand, how did it feel when your colors were booming with life during your acupuncture experience? Honestly, it was the best moment of my life. Being able to see everything in color and not just sounds was incredible. Imagine looking at ordinary objects and picture them with radiant colors and life. I don't think we can envision that quite as easy as you, Mia. (laughs) Ha ha ha, (laughs) understood. One last question before you leave, Mia. Of course. Do you ever wish you were um, normal? Never. I used to wish my colors would go away, but now I appreciate them, and I like seeing things in my own way. Thanks. Well, that should wrap things up. Thanks for coming, Mia. (laughs) Thanks for having me. Great. See you all next time on Poppin' Podcasts. Bye. Bye! Ha ha ha, understood. 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 Good night, Papa. Good night, Papa. Bye, everybody. Bye.